no for if you have the language then you have the sentences and sentence has some particular structure so how you can denote the structure of that particular sentences and that structure we are going to denote with the help of grammars a grammar a grammar g is a four tuple you can write g is equal to b sigma s and p any grammar for any language whatever you have the language grammar is a four tuple first one you know you have the b and b once you have the b we are using the b for denoting the finite set of variables so finite set of variables num the set must be finite once you see once i refer this set then set has two possibilities it can be finite or infinite here we are talking about the finite set means you must have a finite number of variables and <clears throat> in the literatures actually variables are known as non terminals so you can say that this is the finite set of non terminal symbols non terminals and you know the meaning of variables means you know the name, meaning of non terminal terminals just like in case of the tree terminal means leaves and if you have the leaf you cannot further grow but once you have the non terminals means internal branch you can say internal nodes so here here v is the set of non terminals and in our uh, throughout this course we will use and most of the cases in all you can say that almost everyone refers capital letter for denoting the non terminal symbols like i will use a if i am using a in the grammar then i will mean i mean that this is the variable name and variable once you i say variable name or once i say this is the non terminal it means this variable can be replaced with some other strings so because variable can be replaced with any other thing this is not constant so that's why i have referred the finite set of variables or you can say that finite set of non terminals so non terminal symbols and non terminal symbols we will denote by writing the capital a and here you have the sigma sigma is the again sigma is finite so finite set of alphabet symbol alphabet symbols okay <clears throat> so finite set of alphabet symbol and here this is also the finite set and this is also the finite set and in case of alphabet symbols we will refer a small case a small case for denoting for denoting the symbols from the alphabet like if i am using the a it means this is the symbol from the uh, alphabet so here <coughs> sigma and v this is the these are the disjoint set means v and once you make the intersection of the sigma then what you have this will be empty means whatever symbols you are using in the v you cannot use in the alphabet these are v and sigma are the disjoint sets now p you have no, sorry you have the s so s is the special non terminal special non terminal or variable you can say and this is actually known as the start symbol you can say call h start symbol means this is the first this is the first non terminus means first variable and any construction of any sentences will begin with the replacement of the variable s so this is the special non terminus and you if sentence is valid then it must be generated must be constructed starting from the s and now here you have the p p 
P is the this is the finite set of, again set of production rules or you can set of formulas so formulas or in case of the grammar you will say that you can say that formula means production rules production rules production rules of grammar and actually <clears throat> this is the rules which will tell you that how you are going to replace the variables with the other string so we will denote the productions by using the arrow like this if i'm writing like this a derives a this means variable a can be replaced with this and whenever you have left hand side this is the capital i have written the capital means this is the variable and this can be variable or this can be terminal or whatever is thing so you can say in general you can say a derives alpha where a is what a belongs to v means this is the this is the non terminals and see you know that s is also symbol from the v s belongs to v but s is the special non terminals we have written so s is within the v actually so in this case a belongs to v and alpha is any string of variables are in combination with the terminals also so alpha belongs to any symbol from the v union any symbol from the sigma and any possible strings you can form so any possible strings you can form with the help of the variable non terminals and terminals so alpha can be anything and here once you have the star alpha can be null also so alpha can be null also because here you have the star so for writing the rules of grammars we will use the this kind of notion so a derives this is the rules and this rules will tell you that how you are going to replace the variables with the the right hand side this is the left hand side string this is the right hand side string and this right hand side string can be of anything and when this right hand side string contains only the terminal symbols terminal symbols means symbols from the alphabet only you don't and if alpha do not contain any variables name then you will have the strings this is the final strings you have generated from the grammar construction of any grammar for the language it means you are going to construct the production rules i have the rules say as as derives a b now see as capital a capital b means these are the variables and now now you have to tell that in which string you can replace so i may use simple like a a or b b then i have b and b can be replaced with again either a a or b b i have written like this so this is the production rules this is the set in in this set we have three rules one is s derives ab a derives a a or b b and b derives a a or b b now how you whenever you say grammar so you can understand here this is the grammar because we have defined the production rules and here in grammar means you have the four tuples v sigma s and p so v in this particular case what is b this is s is the non terminals a is the non terminals b is the non terminals three non terminals you have and here you have the sigma sigma is you have two lower cases like symbols a and b so this is the sigma and here as we have used as the start symbol means construction of any sentence will begin from the as and see production rules are these rules so how you can generate the sentence so you can start from this or you can start from this say if you can start from a so you have a and for generation of the sentence we will use the symbol like this so from a you are a you can obtain either this or this and 
no a a this is what this is the string which contains only the terminal symbols means alphabet symbol and hence you cannot further change so this is the sentence but this sentence you have achieved starting from the variable name a and a is not a short symbol and hence this is not the valid sentence this is not a valid sentence of the grammar because the sentence will be valid if and only if it has to start from the start symbol like if you say s derives ab now again you have to select the variable one by one variables a you can replace now you have the two, two choices a can be replaced with either a or you can be b let us i am going to replace with b so now you have the b now for the b you have you have to replace and b you have the choice so here this is the fix you cannot change b can have choice either a a or b b if you again replace with double b then you are obtaining the sentence like this and b b this sentence double b double b every symbols in this string is taken from the alphabet sigma and hence this is the string you can say that this is the sentence and this sentence is valid valid why it is valid because we have constructed the sentence starting from the s so and why s because s is the start symbol so you have to designate among the variable names among the non terminal names you have to designate any one sim any one variable name as the start symbol so like i have denoted s as the start symbol if you if you wish you can denote a as the start symbol then you have to accordingly you have to change the rules so there is no hard and fast rules that you always use the s as the start symbol i am using the start symbol s in books you in the literature people are using the start symbol as the s but if you want to use the start symbol other than s you have to explicitly mention so this is the <clears throat> valid sentence in your english language so the <clears throat> whenever you have the grammar and this kind of rules then you can say like this so you in short you can write say i am denote the grammar this by writing the g or you can say i am i am writing the g1 so g1 is this so whenever somebody ask you that okay construct the grammar for the given language it means you have to construct the production rules of the grammar and production rules will tell you that how <clears throat> how you are going to uh, replace the variables names so you must remember once you are going to make the replacement then you have to replace the variables names starting from the start symbol then only it will be the valid sentence otherwise it will not be the valid sentence in short what you can say you have you have to start from the start symbol as okay and you starting from the start symbol if you want to omit these steps if somebody if you want to tell somebody that starting from the start symbol i am able to construct this sentence so you can write like this starting from the start symbol by using the rules of grammar grammar g1 this is the g1 by using this grammar i am able to construct this sentence double b double b you can tell in the short so here you don't want to mention the intermediate steps you just it is sufficient to say that if you start from the start symbol by using the rules of grammar whatever the grammar has rules used by using the rules of grammar you will be able to find this sentence double b double so you can say simply like this you can have any other sentence also starting from the s you can you have the a and b now a can be replaced with a and then you have the b and again 
B can be replaced with either A, A or B, B. So I, if you are replacing with double B, then this is the other sentence you have found. So in this way, by using the rules, this is also the valid sentence because you have started with A. So this is this is one sentence. This is other sentence. Somebody may ask you that list all possible sentences of this grammar. So we have the grammar G1. How you can denote the language represented by the grammar G1 by writing the symbols like G1, like this. So whenever we write LG1, it means the language represented by the grammar G1. So language represented by the grammar G1. How you can obtain? Use the grammar root G1 and start the construction of the sentence starting from the start symbol. And whatever sentences you are able to generate form with the start symbol, you can list one by one. Like you have listed, first you have obtained BB, then you have the, we have obtained AA and double B. Similarly, you can, first you can obtain AA, then B, variable B can be replaced with again double A, you will find like this. Then you can have BB and then you will have C. So see only these four possible words in this gram. So by using the rules of grammar G1, you will be able to generate only four possible words. Double B, double B, double A, double B, double A, double A, and double B and double A. No other words you can generate by using the grammar. LG1. So this is the way, since this grammar has finite number of sentences, you are able to find out. But consider the situation, if some grammar can generate infinite possible sentences, and if somebody asks you that, construct, construct the rule, <coughs> construct all possible sentences generated by the grammar. So it is very difficult to list all infinite sentences and your computer, this is the hard question in the computer science. And if you ask your computer to tell that what are the all possible words that you can form with the help of these production rules, then computer will be busy with the computations. And even generating this, if you are given a grammar, and if somebody asks you that generate all possible sentences represented by this grammar G, then this is very hard question in the computer science. And we will say that this question is NP hard. In the computer science, we have the notion of hardness. So this is the problem which cannot be solved in the reasonable amount of time. So even see, even listing all possible words, if you are given, is not possible.